Isaiah and Steven are identical twins. I'm Isaiah Torres. And I'm Steven Torres. They're very close. We're 18. Jasmine's been involved in, with our family for quite some time now. You don't have to have all these big superpowers. She's just a wonderful person to have around. You can just be a regular person and help those around your community. We're just doing what we can. I'm so proud of all of them. I have been even before this started. They're just such great kids. For both boys and girls alike, superheroes are a way of like representing to be strong. His brothers are twins. Their younger brother, Elijah, he just turned nine years old. He was playing baseball for the Little League, and the Little League had to suspend their games due to COVID. One of his teammates invited Elijah and the family to join in a car birthday parade. We were thinking, why not put on our Spider-Man suits and make, have some fun with it? And when we went out, we had our Spider-Man suits. Everyone loved it. And when we got home, we were thinking of how we could keep this going. If someone were to come and do that for my siblings, I feel like, why can't I go out and do that to other people and make them feel happy? What they do is they directly message us through our Facebook page, and then we'll, our mom helps us set up an appointment, go see them. We say hi, we sing happy birthday, depending on the occasion or just to cheer them up. As we go for a visit, we provide the service of like cheering up their children for any occasion. And if they can, they supply donations for the Pentland Neighborhood Center. And the Pentland Neighborhood Center does a good job at getting those donations to everybody, regardless of your income, race, or anything. They weigh all their food as it comes in, and they said that we've been donating over 2,000 pounds. We've had a total of 89 individual household visits. It's still important to think outside the box um, and figure out a way that you can still serve your community right now. We ask that the parents stay and the kids stay a good distance. We take pictures with the kids on the sidewalk and us on the street. And we even ask that they just place their donations in front and that we'll come and get them. I am Congressman Pete Olson. Oh, it was um, amazing. I wasn't expecting it at all. You did recognize true American heroes. To be recognized by someone as um, high up as Pete Olson, a congressman. It just makes me feel so proud and very grateful for what I'm doing and that I'm in the situation to be doing this. When we started this thing, we weren't really expecting to get much from it. We were just thinking about how we can help out and help cheer up the kids. Steven Torres, for your heroic efforts to bright the spirits of Pearland children. When we were getting it, I, I was very honored because like, I know it's a big thing. I just hope I can like make an example for other kids my age. Thank you. I think it's uh, wonderful that this kind of recognition and award program exists. I think it was very nice of uh, Representative Olson to take his time and come out and visit with the boys and give them the awards. But at the same time, it's nice about it and everybody coming out here and shedding light on what the boys are doing. It's not about recognizing the boys as to so much what we're doing and the community we're serving. It's so awesome to see these kids get involved and get excited on these visits. I mean, they're making their day. I hope that it shows other young adults their age that you know they can step up and think outside the box a little bit and try to see you know how we can come together and make this you know fun and we don't always have to be down and, and be negative about what's going on. Let's focus on something positive and do something for our community and serve. Yeah. We'd like to carry on as long as we can. It's just a very good way to uplift people. When you're able to make the kids' day, make them smile, it's all we're looking to do. You know, it feels great.